Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a working vending machine. Now, this does work on Pocket Edition. Just going to get that out there right now. The only thing that does not work on Pocket Edition is the pane glass in front of the item frames. You're going to have to do something else than this. Uh, but that's the only thing that doesn't work is the pane glass in front of those item frames. Now, there was three things that I was trying to go with this. One, make the thing work. So I wanted it to work. Two, have a payment system. You actually have to pay for the items. And three, I wanted it to look like a vending machine. I wanted the thing to actually look like a vending machine. And I think I did a pretty good job with that. You have the items behind the glass. We have our selectors. And then also it juts out of the wall by one. I wanted to make sure that it was coming out of the wall by one. So to buy an item from my vending machine, all I have to do is throw one diamond in it. I know that's highway robbery. You can always change your payment system. You can make it whatever you like, but all I have to do is just throw one diamond right here and then select an item from here that I want. So do I want a cookie, a golden apple, an ender pearl, or a brick? Now the brick is supposed to be like a chocolate bar. It's supposed to be like a gumball and there's actually cookies and sometimes apples inside a vending machine. So that kind of worked. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pick the cookie. So all I have to do is click this button. It will take my payment and then right down under here. That's another thing. I wanted it to work like a vending machine. So you get your item out of the bottom of the vending machine. So I thought that was a really cool thing too. And I can't eat this cookie because I'm on creative. Now you cannot click it rapidly and get two items. I made sure you can't do that. So when I throw an item here, I can't go like this. I can't go boom and boom like that real fast. I could do it actually a lot faster too, but no matter what, it will only give you the one item because once you select an item, it will actually lock all the other dispensers right away. Well, droppers right away. So you can't select another item now when you throw something in there that is not your payment item all you have to do is if you operate the vending machine is come right over here and take it out of this bottom hopper it will lock it in there so it won't get stuck in everything and break your vending machine so let's go ahead and look at the redstone behind this thing it's not actually too hard of a build i tried to keep it as small as possible with keeping its function and its little jutting out by one that's why it became a little bit bigger than i wanted it to be but i wanted it to have the aesthetics of an actual vending machine and then right down here is where you collect all your payment items and you could see that I was I was playing with this thing a lot. I was making sure that this thing absolutely works. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. Now for this build, we're going to need a seven by five spacing, and we're also gonna have to dig down three. Now that red sand clay line is the exact spot in where we're gonna be placing the vending machine. Now the resources we're gonna need for this build are four droppers, eight hoppers, two comparators, 10 redstone torches, 26 redstone, four buttons, three slabs, four cauldrons, four chests, four item frames, and 23 payment items. I'm going to be using diamonds. You can use whatever you like. Once you have your seven by five spacing, dug down your three and gathered up your resources, we're going to start off by building part of our vending machine first. So we're going to come right down here to the bottom left-hand side, and we're going to count over three blocks. So one, two, three, and we're going to place one block on the third block and the fourth block. Now facing towards the corner of our build over there, we're going to place down a redstone comparator facing that way. Next up, place a block in front of our redstone comparator. And now go ahead and take out your chests. And we're going to place two chests from right here at the front. And this is going to be the bottom of our vending machine. So place a chest here. Then we're going to go into sneak mode and place another chest right there. Now make sure you place it in this way so when you open it up, it actually opens up from the front. I mean, if you wanted to open the back way, it really doesn't matter. But I feel like it looks a lot better when it opens up from the front. Now we're going to go ahead and place in part of our vending machine. So take out the color you want to use for your vending machine. And we're just going to come over one block from our chest, break this block, and just come up three blocks. So one, two, three. And we're going to do the same thing on this side as well. Come over one and come up three blocks. One, two, three. Now on the second and third, we're going to go ahead and place in our buttons. So one, two, and one, two, like that. Next, swing to the backhand side and place redstone torches off the back of the blocks that have our buttons. So when we click our buttons the redstone torches will go off. Next up, go ahead and take out your droppers and then off the two top torches, we're gonna place droppers facing inwards. So one right here and one right here facing inwards off the redstone torches. Then we're gonna place a block underneath these droppers. So go ahead and sneak mode and place a block underneath your droppers like that. And then right underneath these blocks, we're gonna place in two more droppers facing inwards. And this is what's gonna be holding our items that are gonna be getting dispensed out when we pay for our vending machine. Now that we know where the vending machine is and where the items are going to be coming out of, we're going to go ahead and build our payment system first because once we get done with the payment system, it will hook into the lockout and it will also hook in to the activation. So we're going to come back over here to the front hand side of our vending machine. I'm going to come over here to the right side and then going into the bottom chest over here, we're going to take out our hoppers, come right down here and place a hopper going into the back of this chest in sneak mode like that. 
Next up, place another hopper underneath this one going into the back of this redstone comparator. And then right underneath this hopper, we're going to count over three blocks that way. So one, two, three, right in the corner of the build, we're going to go ahead and place in a chest. Take out your hoppers once again and place two hoppers going into the side of that chest. Make sure they're funneling into the side of the chest. As you can see, it's going that way into the chest. Next up, take out your blocks again. And then right over here by our comparator, we're going to place in two more blocks. Place two pieces of redstone on top of these blocks. Go ahead and take out your redstone torches and place a redstone torch off the side of this block, locking this bottom hopper. Now we can go ahead and add in our payment item. Now my payment item is going to be diamonds. You can use whatever you like here. Just go into the middle hopper, take out your payment item and place in four items right like this. One, two, three, four, and then place the rest right here. One should funnel down into the bottom hopper. So when I place this in all 19 in, as you can see, it turned 18 and now one's down here in the bottom hopper. And now if you'd like to test it out, all you have to do now is just place one more hopper going into the side of this hopper right here. Come up here and then just throw a diamond at this one or whatever payment item you're using. So bloop, and it should funnel all the way down into this bottom chest. And as you can see, there is our payment item all the way down here in the bottom chest. I'll go, I'll go ahead and just do it one more time. Throw my diamond right here. It should funnel all the way through down to this bottom chest. Now that we know the payment system is working, we're going to go ahead and hook up our payment system to the lockout for our droppers. This will make sure it keeps it locked until the payment item is paid. So we're going to come right off of this middle hopper between the chest and the other hopper. And we're going to place a block right next to it. Next up, take out your redstone comparators once again and place a redstone comparator coming out of this block going that way. Place a block in front of the redstone comparator. Place a redstone torch off the side of the block. Place a block on top of the redstone torch like that. Then we're going to come up right above it and place a piece of redstone on top of this. Place a block up next to the redstone and then place another piece of redstone right here. Now for this next part in between where these two droppers are, we're going to come out two slabs upside down. So one, two, then we're going to place another block right here and a block up next to this dropper and do the same thing on this side. Come up a block next to our dropper. So it looks something like this. And then take out your redstone and place redstone along all of it. And now this will keep all of your droppers locked until you pay the item. However, right now, if we pay the item, it's just going to funnel right through this and not stop where we need it to stop. So now we have to lock this hopper right here. So when we pay the item, the item stays locked until we choose what we want. So to make sure our item stays locked, all we have to do is just come out one block from here, break this block. And then place another redstone torch off the side of this block. Take out your redstone and then go into sneak mode and place a piece of redstone right on top of your hopper. Now this will keep it locked. So if we went ahead and we paid with our diamond, we paid. As you can see, this redstone will now go off, letting us pick an item from the dropper. So let's say, uh, let's say there was a yellow stained clay block in here and I wanted the yellow stained clay block. Bloop, I click it. And as you can see, boom, it shoots out and then I will get my item from the vending machine. However, it is still off so I can keep choosing stuff over and over and over. We don't want that to happen. So now all we have to do is make sure that our lock for our hopper that makes it so we can pay turns off and then turns back on, letting the item funnel down into the chest, turning off the vending machine. Now, this is where it's going to get a little weird. So right down here underneath this redstone torch, we're going to place a slab upside down with a piece of redstone on top of it. Now you're gonna have to take out your walling block of choice. I'm going to be using bricks for mine. So this is going to be my walling, just like the one over there, I have bricks. So we're gonna place one of our walling block right next to this redstone that's on top of the slab. Then we're gonna place a torch off the side of the block with a piece of redstone right underneath it. So now this bottom dropper should be working. So if I click my button right here, it will actually unlock it and give me my item. So we click the button, bloop, it will unlock it and it will give me the item. However, I did not add the items in yet. We will be doing that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and just finish off this bottom one right over here as well. So since we already did that one, let's do this one as well. So we're just going to put a block down from the redstone torch. Place a piece of redstone right here. Take out your walling block of choice that you're going to be using for the front of your vending machine. Next up, place a redstone torch off this side of the block. So now what we're going to do is bring the power from this redstone torch down to this green block right over here. So what I want you to do is let's go ahead and just start from this green block. It would be a lot easier. We're just going to come out one block from here and then over a block, placing redstone on top of both of them. So bloop, bloop. And then we're just going to bring our line going all the way down to the end and then wrap it right underneath that redstone torch like that. 
and then just place redstone right along all of it now we want these connecting make sure these two connect because when we activate it we want to make sure that we only get one item if you don't have these two connecting then you can hit the buttons as many times as you want and get as many items from your vending machine as you want so just make sure these two are connected to this bottom line so now our other bottom button should be working so this one should be fully functioning so now what we have left to do is these top two buttons now for the top two buttons we're gonna come right back here i'm gonna place a block right on top of our redstone torches and then another redstone torch off the side of these blocks they should both go off now all we have to do is just bring the power from these redstone torches down to this line so coming out from the sides of our droppers we're going to place in a block off the side of our dropper and then just bring it all the way down like this hooking them together with redstone then all we have to do is just bring this down in a staircase motion to this one right here so just come down a block come down another block and then come down yet again another block right here hooking it all together now every single button should be working absolutely fine so now all that's left to do is make sure when we click our items they make it to this bottom chest right here so we're going to come here into the inside and we're going to go into sneak mode and right behind the chest we're going to place a hopper here a hopper going into the side of that hopper and then another hopper going into this hopper right here so we have a hopper going into a hopper going into a hopper going into that chest over there now you can use glass for this part i like using glass you don't have to but just make sure you do not cut this redstone off do not cut that redstone off or it will not work well it will work but then you can just click the buttons you can click one button then another button really quickly and get two items you don't want that you only want to get one item when you pay for it so i'm going to go ahead and place two glass blocks here and then we're going to place two more blocks like this and then two more blocks right above these droppers like this so one and just come up one and then two like that just make sure you have blocks around this whole area because when the items get shot out you want to make sure that the person actually gets the item they're paying for next up go ahead and take out your cauldrons now if you're on pocket edition you really don't have to use cauldrons here because like i said you can't place item frames behind glass panes on pe you just can't do it so right here when you're on console and i'm pretty sure it works on pc as well we're going to go ahead and just place a cauldron right here in between these two so bloop bloop like that go ahead and break this one back here and we're just going to place a cauldron here 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 and here now the reason why i'm using cauldrons is because glass panes do not hook to cauldrons so let me go ahead and take out the panes real quick so when i put a glass pane here as you can see it won't hook to the cauldron however if i went ahead and put a normal block let me just go just go ahead and switch this to a normal block as you can see the glass pane hooks to that block right there that will break your item frame if you do that let me go ahead and just take out item frames really fast so we're going to need the item frames anyway so if i placed an item frame off a regular block like this and then i placed in my glass pane you'll see it will break the item frame eventually so bloop there it goes and we don't want that happening we don't want our item frames breaking that's why we are using cauldrons see if i put an item frame in front of the cauldron it won't break because it's not connecting to the cauldron so let me go ahead and switch this back over to a cauldron and then we're going to place our item frames along all of this and then we can go ahead and place our glass panes in front of it and then of course fill your item frames with whatever you like so i'm going to go ahead and just quickly choose uh let's just do this uh emerald iron gold and nether quartz that's absolutely fine so <laughs> emerald iron gold and nether quartz and now all we have to do is just place the rest of our glass panes in front of it so go ahead and take out your glass panes once again bloop and bloop and then we can go ahead and fill off the top of our vending machine so take out your vending machine color and just go like that and bring it right across the top next up we're going to need two stairs here now you can choose whatever stair colors you like i like using quartz but it is completely up to you and we're going to place two staircases upside down right here and right here now i also don't like the color right down here because i wanted to match the hopper over here this is optional you could place whatever block you want there but i feel like if you place another cauldron right here it looks the best see there's a cauldron there and there's a, a hopper there so they just look really good there together but that's it guys your vending machine is completely done so now all you have to do is come back here and fill up your droppers with the right thing so the bottom ones are going to be emeralds because right down here i have emeralds so the bottom droppers are going to be emeralds so now let me go ahead and just buy that emerald real quick so i'm going to throw my payment item in and now all I have to do is click this bottom button and I'll get my emerald right inside here. And, oh, I forgot some older stuff in there. But as you can see, there is the bottom emerald. Now, if I wanted to buy some, let's say, quartz up here, let me go and just throw in my nether quartz and I throw in my payment item. I can go ahead and select this one right here and I will get my nether quartz. So, boop, and I will get my nether quartz. And that's the entire build, guys. You are completely done. All that's left to do is just to clean up your build with your blocks of choice around the outside of it wherever if you put this in front of a building you should already be done but boop, boop, boop place this in right here and then of course i'm going to go ahead and just take out my and site and fill in this block right here as well and over here as well now if you want to this is also optional you don't have to do this but i like to place in a carpet right above the hopper so you can't see that hopper right there it just looks a lot better 
And you know what, before we end off the video, I completely forgot right down there as well. As you can see, you can see inside there if you want to. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but it'll just make it look a lot better. Come back here, break those two blocks, and just place two more stairs right here and right here. And then go ahead and just fill this back in. That's just so you can't see the redstone from the front. See, now you can't see that redstone in there, and it looks a lot better. But there you guys have it. That is how you build a working vending machine in Minecraft and Minecraft Pocket Edition. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. And subscribe, stay tuned with my newest video. All right, guys, bloop, and I want a cookie. So click the button, give me the cookie. It's hard to do this with no HUD, and there's my cookie. All right, guys, peace.